We will wrap up this week's In the Arena with a trip in the political Wayback Machine, now that Ethan is uh, schooled I in did. the ways of Peabody and Sherman. I did. I watched it. It was very funny. <laughs> it's something that happened in politics in this week in history. On September 26, 1960, the first ever televised presidential debate was held between Republican Vice President Richard Nixon and Democratic Senator John F. Kennedy in Chicago. Though they would end up debating four times, many observers said that this first debate was a game changer with a younger, tanned, rested and ready JFK look uh, against a haggard looking Vice President Nixon. But that was really only the first televised debate featuring the candidates for president themselves. The true first pre televised presidential debate featured former First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt and Maine Senator Margaret Chase Smith. On November 4th, 1956, these two women faced off on the CBS news program, Face the Nation. Roosevelt represented the Democratic nominee, Adlai Stevenson, and Senator Smith argued for Republican President Dwight Eisenhower, who was seeking his second term. Now, the two women were friends and mutual admirers, despite their party and political differences, and the discussion was polite, dignified, and informative, and the debate focused mostly on foreign policy. So, the first ever televised presidential debate featured two women who were already history makers. Ethan, it's really remarkable that that was the first time CBS's Face the Nation had ever had any woman on, yeah. and it was two pretty big political powerhouses of their day. Yeah, I had known nothing about this until you sent it to us, and I watched it. Uh, before we recorded this, uh, it actually was a pretty, it started out a little bit kind of light. They were asking like, who's going to win the House? Who's going to win this? It was kind of like political analysis as opposed to some policy. But they really got into Israel. They got into the Middle East. They got into nuclear weapons, the draft. A pretty substantial debate. Yeah, I, I think, you know, you said they, they were dignified and polite and boy, we could use a lot more of that uh, <laughs> today. Good. Well, yeah. it, you know, it's interesting too. Any, and anyone who's interested yeah. in this can find it on YouTube. It's very yes. easy to find and, and fascinating to watch because it was a different time. Uh, it doesn't really get testy at all till the end with the closing statements. I think <laughs> yes. there's a little friction there. Yeah. But it also, they make reference to the fact that Maine used to have its elections other than presidential in September, yeah, I didn't because they're that. asking yeah. Senator Smith, well, you had a pretty big Democratic turnout. Uh, you know, uh, the, your governor won re-election, and one of the three, Maine then had three congressional districts, mm -hmm. went to the Democrats. And she said, well, he's a popular governor. I don't think it has any impact on what Eisenhower will do. That was quite correct. She was yeah. quite astute in that. Well, so check it out. As yeah. Maine goes, that exactly. came that's where the expression comes we from. We started in September. So. Yeah. How do we get that third district back? That's yeah, the question. Know. We need to get a few more people. <laughs> we need a few more people. That will wrap up episode four of season three of In the Arena, produced at the studios of WMTW TV Channel 8. You can see this episode and all of season two at WMTW.com slash In the Arena, or you can listen by subscribing wherever you get your podcast. Just search for In the Arena, Maine. We'll see you next week. <laughs>